And I don't know if y'all got up early to watch this morning, but the Tony Awards were announced. And I love me. I love my musicals. They're the only place you can see people break into song for no reason outside of a Carly Fiorina speech. <laughs> the front runner, of course, is Hamilton, which got a record. Which got a record 16 Tony nominations. Hopefully, this will help them sell some tickets. <laughs> How many of you are here tonight because you couldn't get into Hamilton? <laughs> I'll start. I'll start. I like Hamilton. I like it. Upon hearing <laughs> you guys too. Them too. Okay. Upon hearing that Hamilton was the inevitable winner of the Tonys, Ted Cruz announced, I am running for a Tony. <laughs> I think. I think if Hamilton were alive today, he'd say, why are there so many states? <laughs> what are these horseless carriages? My God, people are so tall now. <laughs> All right, that's enough Tonys. Let's get to some real news. I love fashion. <laughs> because last night was Anna Winter's annual Met Gala at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. The Met Gala is like rich people Halloween. <laughs> Everyone dresses up, and instead of candy, you get to take home a Monet. <laughs> this year, the Met Gala was sponsored by Apple, and the theme was fashion in the age of technology. So there was lots of silver and mirrors. Zayn Malik from One Direction had robot arms, and Madonna had a bare ass. <laughs> Lord knows what technology goes into maintaining that. <laughs> but best of all, I was invited! <laughs> my wife, my wife, Evie, looked amazing in Zach Posen, and I slayed the red carpet yes. in Hugo Boss black tie and Gap tidy whities And we entered the party right behind the beautiful Claire Danes, who wore, I think, the most stunning dress of the night, a Zach Posen gown made from custom fiber optic woven into organza. It literally glowed. The inspiration for the dress, evidently, was to make it easier for her Uber driver to find her after the party. <laughs> and, of course, the gentleman. Gentleman do the fashion. You do the fashion, John. I love the fashion. The gentleman did the fashion last night. Uh, Kanye. Went very high tech by staying up all night with a bedazzler, evidently. <laughs> oh, oh, this is a good one. Carolina Krakova wore a dress that was co designed by IBM's Watson, connected to social media, and covered with light up flowers <laughs> whose colors changed according to people's tweets. So, all night, the dress was mostly the color of people who are furious about the Ghostbusters reboot. And another big showstopper last night, Beyonce, who <laughs> wore a rubber dress that was beaded for her pleasure. <laughs> and <laughs> it's important. <laughs> Beyonce's sister, Solange, was there, radiant in a dress that just screamed, I am going to punch Jay Z in the face. <laughs> This, <laughs> it was, it's another reason to wear the rubber, because you could just hose it off. Yeah. Right? yeah. Oh, my goodness. And it was one of the most, hey, I didn't make it up. It was one of the most <laughs> opulent and glamorous nights imaginable. It made the Oscars red carpet look like after work drinks at P.F. Chang's. <laughs> now, one thing about the Met Gala is that you're not supposed to take pictures once you're inside and hush, hush, sweet Charlotte about what we do. So I will honor that code because I want to go back next year. <laughs> all I can say is that for cocktail hour, we may have all ridden iridescent crystal drone butterflies. <laughs> Dinner might have been hummingbirds that fly directly into your mouth. <laughs> and at the stroke of midnight, we all put on wolf masks and dove into the flesh pit. <laughs> you don't, you gotta time that right. You don't wanna be the first into the flesh pit. <laughs> you gotta wait till a froth builds up. Yeah. Anyway, you know that? You, you know that? Yeah, you, know, you don't want to be the first one because everybody falls on top of you. That's right. It was a beautiful evening, and no way was diminished by the nagging feeling that at any moment the 99% were going to crash in and line us all up against the wall. <laughs> because as I faced my death at the hands of the firing squad, I know I'd be thinking, it was all worth it because I met Demi Lovato.
But in our defense, the Met Gala is all for charity, and I hope they raise enough money so Mr. Met can finally get the cranial surgery he so desperately needs.